Good morning. Well, this, this is what's so exciting. So it's exciting for a couple of reasons. One, it's finally a nice, safe scaffolding, which is always, you know, nice. But two, this is a particular scaffolding for a particular job, which is this. So the scaffolding reaches all the way from the ground floor to the very, very, very top of the turret. And yes, there's other jobs to do first, but that means getting a floor up there, getting it temporary roofed, and getting all the dangerous top bit off this year, and safely and accessibly, accessibly, accessible. I mean, not exactly how I wanted it to come off, but it's off. Good, feel all shaky. Okay, so I've whackered all the outside in the middle. I've left a little bit in the middle free so I can, you know, grab some gravel if I need it. So now we can start marking out where the base is going to end, and more importantly, I'm kind of going to do well, I'll show you it all. Let me mark it out first, then I'll show you. Most important ones to note, this one is the middle base where all the wood will sit on and go out. These are middle supports which are just blocks and this line is the perimeter of the yurt. So here's the plan, there's going to be a centre ring which is going to be a concrete pad, this is the outer ring of the yurt and we're basically going to take the beams and make like a clock shape all the way around 
few noggins in there and that'll form the base of the yurt. Insulation board on top, OSB on top of that, ready.
So, I'm just starting to slurry this threshold here between the two rooms. Now, lime, you can't really pour it too thick because lime shrinks quite heavily, so cracks super easy. So, if I just poured this all in one, it'd just be a, a maze of cracks in the morning. So, just kind of done some deep bits, let that set a couple of days, and then I'll keep pouring and adding until it's all nice and level. I think but don't quote me on it, I think the threshold between the landing and the room is gonna be like super, super minimal. You know, it's been a busy few days, I know it's not seemed like that on the vlog, but just running about getting all this stuff, but I know it's gonna pay off in the next few weeks, having the scaffolding, having loads of materials. This yurt base, I've realized, needs to be done pretty soon because the yurt's getting installed on the 2nd of August and I promise the guy there's going to be a floor that's lacquered and ready for a yurt to go on. Well, that gives me like two or three days. It's going to be a push, but I can do it and I'll see you tomorrow.